Grace is both pardon for the sins of the past and the power for the obedience of the future. We believe in the great news of Ephesians 2.8, which says, by grace, you've been saved through faith. I mean, this speaks of, of past grace. It was demonstrated by Jesus's death, removing the curse of the law and absorbing the wrath of God. I mean, without this grace, nothing good could come to us sinners. But just as important as this past grace of pardon is, so is the future grace of power. It was Jesus who said to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I mean, grace is, is power for Christian living. Grace is the power to treasure all that God is for us in Jesus. Grace is the power to love all who God loves. Grace is the power to meditate on his word. Guys, we must be utterly dependent on his grace for all things. Grace is not only the past experience of pardon of our sins, it is the future experience of power to do what God commands us to do. We obey because of God's grace. We live because of his grace. We have breath in our lungs because of his grace. And this is why gratitude for past grace is not enough for today. You can't run your life on gratitude for yesterday's grace. You need today's grace for today. You need today's grace for today's obedience. You need today's grace to get you through today. In other words, apart from his daily gift of grace, you, you can do nothing. But here's the promise. The Lord is good to give us fresh grace every hour to empower our steps. Guys, let that sink in.